through him and talk with him with a big smile. That's very brave and very nice. Let's welcome Caroline. countryside girl. <laughs> Since I was little, I was th thinking, okay, I really want to go somewhere outside of my town. You know, go, go somewhere far and then I can meet more people, not only like uh, people from my town or neighborhood. Then I just had a dream since I was little. The dream is I want to go abroad and study abroad. Right. Unfortunately, I am not a good student. I mean, in terms of getting good scores and you know passing board exams and everything like this. And I actually have a very strict father. I called him no no man. <laughs> 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 Means he always say no to me. <laughs> right. So I, after I graduated from junior school, I my score wasn't that good, and. Um, but I had a dream, I was thinking, okay, you know, as little, for a little girl, it would be good to study fashion design. Great, I got a chance to study fashion design. But as you can imagine, my father said, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, then he forced me to study business. Okay, five years long, terrible. <laughs> five years, you know, can you imagine that I was being thinking, fashion design, fashion design, fashion design. <laughs> anyway. It, it didn't come out well, but anyway, like five years, I didn't really give up my dream. Okay, um, then later on, I didn't have got a luck to study English because I was thinking, okay, if I get if my English good, then I can go abroad. Still, still one of my dreams can come true. Unfortunately, I didn't get a good score. <laughs> so I end up to study in Japanese. Okay, so well, Japanese is not that bad, you know, considering that we still use it sometimes in Taiwan. And, um, but I still didn't give up my dream. That's why I'm telling you that one of my dreams is um, actually to go abroad and maybe work for an international firm and work for people around the world, you know, doesn't matter where I work. So I was very lucky because I didn't give up my dream. And uh, two years later, not two years, but a few years later, I managed to study abroad in the UK and I finished my degree there and I came back and worked for uh, the high speed rail project. Who's ever, who has ever Second high speed rail, please raise your hand. <laughs> only I'm only circle is second the high speed rail. <laughs> All right, doesn't matter. Anyway, it was really good because um, I actually kind of made my dream come true. One of my dreams come true means I worked for 
people from Japan, people from the UK and Australia. So now I'm telling you that please don't give up your dream if you do have one. And uh, maybe you find it is very difficult to achieve it, but don't give up and just keep going. One day you will get there. And uh, so let's just do test to my topic, which is make your dreams come true. Uh, there's a saying, say that uh, there's a, if there's a will, then there's a way. Okay, thank you for listening.